Putnam leads the pack down Molson Street. From above, you can see the Fords accelerating up to 220 miles per hour down the 3.6 miles straight away. So remarkably fast, they soon move out of range of the camera helicopter. From more than 200 miles per hour, Bucknam must quickly decelerate to less than 30 miles per hour in order to negotiate a sharp right-hand turn. is the first lap leader. Here comes the rest of the pack, two Ferrari P4s and two Fords. Dan Gurney driving the number one Ford, Mark IV, has already moved up and is in fifth position as the second lap begins. Buckman's number 57 car is one of the updated Ford Mark IIs, similar to the cars that won here at Le Mans last year, and also made a sweep at both Daytona and Sebring. They weren't supposed to be as quick as the Ford Mark IV, which won the 1967 Sebring race, driven by Mario Andretti. All six of the Ford entries are powered by modified 427 cubic inch Ford engines, similar to those used in stock cars on the NASCAR circuit. The race is into the second hour now. Some of the slower cars have already been lapped by the leaders. the number one Ford Mark IV has steadily moved through the pack. Now, from the air, we see Gurney quickly accelerating to become the leader on the 48th lap. 